Back in the day, from 774 to 775, Earth got hit with a mega blast of radiation. This crazy burst of energy left its mark. Three rings from that year show way too high levels of radioactive stuff. But what exactly caused it? Scientists are inclined to think that the reason was a solar flare. Some folks think maybe a massive supernova caused the radiation blast. But astronomer Phil Plate says that if that had been the case, it would have had to be less than a thousand light years away and would have had been crazy bright. But there's no record of that happening. No bright, shiny Death Star in sight. After looking at the radioactive carbon and beryllium in tree rings, scientists ruled out a bunch of other possibilities. At first, they considered that it was a smash-up between neutron stars or a neutron star and a black hole. These types of crashes produce a super quick blast of gamma rays without any light show, which lines up best with the evidence. But these kinds of collisions are super rare. Plate thinks it's kind of unlikely that this is the answer. He figures we should only see one of these events in our galaxy about once every million years. So having one just 1,200 years ago seems pretty wild. Scientists are seriously worried about these rare events. If one happened closer to Earth, it could seriously mess up life on our planet. Even if it was thousands of light years away, a similar event today could cause chaos with all the fancy electronic systems we've come to rely on. So it's a good thing those gamma ray bursts are so rare, because if they were more common, Earth might be in for a rough ride. You may think that if our planet could withstand mega radiation blasts, it can easily withstand something less frightening. Let's say grasshoppers. Sorry to say that, but it's not exactly true. Back in 1874, during a hot summer in Kansas, things took a strange turn. Grasshoppers, or should I say locusts, invaded the Great Plains like nobody's business. They came down like a storm, blanketing houses, trees, and even poor trains passing by. These bugs were on a mission to cause chaos. Farmers had to scramble to protect their wells and just about anything else worth saving. Locusts landed everywhere, wreaking havoc on everything in sight. Even poor sheep lost their wool. Locusts even stripped paint off wagons and handles off pitchforks. This is how destructive they were. Livestock tried to fight back by eating them, but there were just too many of these insects. That year, those critters caused about $200 million in crop damage. The locust invasion was so tough, even the U.S. Army stepped in to help. In the end, locusts began to disappear, sparing the plains from further devastation. Natural disasters can be even more unexpected than radiation blasts from space and locust invasions. Check this out. Back in June 2017, a reindeer herder up in northwest Siberia was minding their own business when they suddenly heard a crazy loud blast and saw smoke shooting up from the ground. If that happened to me, I'd need to change my pants. Sorry. Later on, they found this huge hole that was like 23 feet wide and nearly 65 feet deep and was surrounded by chunks of ice and dirt. It turned out that there were over 17 such black holes in the area. They were filled with peaty water and shrouded in mystery. Some folks thought those were sinkholes. Others were sure they were left by top secret device tests or even a bunch of meteorites. Now, the latest idea is that these holes are actually craters caused by the Arctic warming up and melting the frozen ground. The theory states that as the ground thaws, gas pockets trapped beneath the surface burst through, creating such dramatic holes. Apparently, these eerie craters have been showing up in specific spots in Siberia where ancient geological faults have been leaking out hot natural gas for ages. Combine that with some leftover methane from old lake sediments, and you've got a recipe for some explosive surprises as the planet heats up. Not scared yet? All right, maybe you're afraid of darkness, huh? If so, you wouldn't like it back in 536. It's the year when the world went through a crazy 18-month period of darkness. A mysterious fog covered Europe, the Middle East, and parts of Asia, blocking out the sun and causing chaos. It was like the Dark Ages, but 
for real. It turns out that the main culprit behind this fog was a volcanic eruption in Iceland. This eruption spread ash across the northern hemisphere, causing temperatures to drop and crops to fail. People were freezing and starving. It was a mess. Historians from back in the day even talked about how weird it was. The sun looked like the moon, summers were freezing cold, and even China had summer snow. It was all because of the volcanic ash blocking out the sun. And to make things even worse, this period of darkness sparked the beginning of the bubonic plague in 541. Talk about a rough time to be alive. Let's go back to Siberia real quick. Back in 1908, way out in the wilds of Siberia, an asteroid dropped for an unexpected visit. Today, we know it as the Tunguska asteroid, but it didn't get its name instantly. Local folks only caught a glimpse of the show. A bright fireball streaking across the sky, followed by a massive boom. Trees went flying, fires blazed, and animals weren't too happy about it either. But since the area was so remote, not many folks took notice. For almost two decades, nobody bothered to check out the Tunguska site. People had too much on their plates back then. But then, scientists finally made it out there and found evidence of the asteroid's shenanigans. Later in expeditions, they found some spacey microparticles. Fast forward to now, and NASA has a whole planetary defense thing going on. They even sent a mission to test out asteroid deflecting tech. Because who knows when the next cosmic rock will come knocking on our door, right? In the middle of the 19th century, there was one more epic solar storm called the Carrington Event. It may not sound like a big deal to you, but it had pretty rough consequences. The next day after the storm, Earth was hit with this insane geomagnetic storm that threw telegraphs off the rails and brought auroras to the tropics. And it's the place where they normally never show up. Turns out all this space weather madness started with weird stuff happening on the sudden surface, like sunspots. From these spots, solar flares and other crazy electromagnetic stuff can pop out and mess with our technology. Massive solar storms like this one can shoot out from the sun at speeds of up to 1,800 miles per second. They can contain billions of tons of solar material, complete with a sassy little magnetic field that loves to mess with Earth's magnetic field when they meet. Now, listen closely. We're getting close to the next solar maximum in 2025, so it's a good time to check out the history of the worst solar storms, like the Carrington event, and take notice. Imagine if a similar storm hit today. An internet apocalypse, anyone? Businesses would be sent offline and we'd be facing some serious damages. Luckily, these mega solar storms don't happen very often. But hey, space weather is tricky to predict, so who knows when the next one will hit? That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.